months? Yes. The only people I submit to you who remember Kendrick Johnson's name, if we wait, is going to be his mom and dad. And we cannot have that. No, sir. No, sir. A a as I get ready to have this mother and this father speak to you as only they can, I want you to really think about it's not just Val Doster. This is an American issue. Come on now. And the right for coroner's inquest. When you think about Marlon Brown and his children, they got video where the police ran him over and then the coroner inquest said that wasn't homicide. You know, we gotta be able to present to America that everybody can have confidence in our justice system. Yes. Yeah. Really, it is like Justice Thurgood Marshall said that the basis of the American Constitution is simply this, brothers and sisters, that a black baby born to a black mother, the poorest black mother, the most inarticulate black mother, the most uneducated black mother, has the same exact rights as a white baby born to a white mother, the most educated white mother, the most articulate white mother, the most affluent white mother, just by virtue of that baby being born in America. Now, Justice Marshall concluded that he know that's not the case in America, but he challenged anybody to say that's not a goal worth fighting for. He challenged anybody to say that's not what makes America the great beacon of hope and justice for all the world to marvel. So when we stand up for justice for Kendrick Lamar Johnson, what we're really doing is helping America live up to its creed of being the great beacon of hope and justice for being where she purports to be. America for you and America for me. Brothers and sisters, without further ado, I want you to give a, 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 just a thunderous amount of applause as Jacqueline and Kenneth Johnson come to the podium and I want you to say the question that they have been saying for 300 days now, for 11 months. We want you to say it so loud that the governor will hear. Who killed KJ? 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 Come on! Who killed KJ? Who killed KJ? Thank you. KJ. Today makes 11 months. My son was found at Lyons High School, rolled up in a mat. I was at that school the day they found my son. They treated us like nobody from day one. They're still treating us like nobody. But we declare that we're here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. We, they want us to leave, and when we, when we leave, it's going to be when they give us justice for my son. Amen. We want to thank everyone for coming out and supporting our family. But. I want to know, they are known to use us and tear down our character. Mm. But Kendrick, that they can't do. Amen. Kendrick was at school where he was supposed to be. Amen. And out of 3,000 students, plus teachers, plus a school with resource officers yeah. at the school. Yes. High in the world. Can a student go missing during school yeah. and be murdered at school? I'm not. As you all know, his organs was missing. But let me tell you a little bit about that. Tell him. Tell him. It's from the top of his head to his pelvis was missing. 
Yeah. The brain. Mm. His windpipe. His tongue. Oh my God. His heart. Mm. And everything else inside of his body was missing. My Lord. So I want the justice system to tell me how is it that all of that is going on with his body? Someone is not charged with something. It can't be. You mean to tell me from the time he was seen, last seen on that Savella camera, within 15 or 20 minutes, he going to cut off all of his fingernails till they start to bleed. He going to scroll his photos around the gym. He going to throw the shoe over inside the mat. And say, I think I'll go over there and get it now. So, how does one shoe inside the mat and the other ones away from the mat? And then, he gets inside the mat, gets stuck, and then I guess the pair of shoes that he had on his feet, he kicks them off. Makes no sense. How can that be? It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. And other than that, the, the uh, clothes that he had, what he dressed out in, how's the data missing? From the clothes he had on, from where they took him to make him to the crime lab, how come that they are missing? So out of all this stuff that's going on, why isn't someone arrested for something? Amen. Amen. How long? So is it all, is it the whole system in together? Cause it ain't no way in the world that y'all don't see something. Thank you. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Really, all that has been said, um, while I could sit here and repeat it, it's already been said, and as someone has already said, we are preaching to the choir. What we have to do is to take the message that we've heard here today and to spread it. When I think about this case, I think about our young. I think about how it is that our children must be treated like they're ours. Amen. Until we take a position that it doesn't matter what our children are to the system what they may be to other communities. The important thing is that they are ours. Amen. And until we begin to treat them like they're ours, no one else will respect them or treat them like they matter. I can only echo what Attorney Crump has said in terms of how exceptional Jackie and Kenneth Johnson happen to be. When I first met them, they had very little to say, but I have now learned that they are not speakers, they are doers. Amen. Amen. I have never seen parents yeah. who are able to convert the pain that they experience, the sorrow, the loss, into action. As Attorney Crump said, they are on that street corner. Yeah. 
almost every day out of the week. Yeah. It doesn't matter how hot it is. Yeah. It doesn't matter how cold it is. They are committed to their child. And they're committed to the notion of justice. Yes. What you have in Valdosta, Georgia, is a level of fear. Yeah. Mm. Fear that they have decided they will break. Amen. And they have brought their demands here to this building. Because the buildings that they stand out in front of in Valdosta, Georgia, Georgia are not places where we will find justice. Amen. So, we've come here today. We are asking Governor Deal yes. to do what he has a responsibility to do. He has a responsibility to convene a coroner's inquest. Yes. Yeah. I don't know how he will go about doing it. Yes. Let's call it magic. <laughs> he got the power. Most anything else that certain folk want to see happen, they make it happen. Amen. And so we are not here to try and point out the law to him or to say to him that he needs to be concerned about this or that. He needs to be concerned about Jackie and Kenneth Johnson. He needs yes. to be concerned right. about the children that are in all of our communities. Yeah. And he needs to be concerned about justice. Amen. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'll give it up for Attorney Parks. Daryl Park. You know, when you look at this picture of Kendrick Johnson, and I'm so glad that his parents did what Mamie Till did for America. She's doing for America today. In that they have decided to show this picture so that the world can see, America can see, Georgia can see. Lowndes County can see, and every other county in the state of Georgia can see, that a child who goes to school yes. should not end up like this. Amen. And that in our country, you can't look at this picture and say it was an accident. Yes. A face that has obvious trauma. Yes. A face that's deformed. America, the world, expects better of Georgia, Lowndes County, and Valdosta. KJ deserves justice. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, uh, you've heard the heart of this family. You've heard from the civil rights community. You've heard from preachers. You've heard from students. You heard a mother and father said we stand on the corner because that's all we know to do. Attorney mm. King said they go to Valdosta knowing that justice is not coming from that place. Well, I'm here to let you know let the word go forth, right. let the message come clear that we from this state capital of Georgia are heading to Valdosta, Georgia and we're not coming to Valdosta to play around. I'm tired of begging for the lives of black boys and girls in these yet to be United States of America. We're tired of burying our sons and daughters at the brutal hands of the oppressor. Amen. We got to be very clear that KJ life meant something. Yeah. You can't just come to a rally and mean that and think that that's all that's required of you. 
we got to go to the scene of the crime. Hey, How many of you will go down to Valdosta and stand with this family for KJ? All right. The reason we stand for KJ, because if we don't stand with his family, tomorrow it just might be us standing there. Amen. And so we're very clear about it. We're very clear about it real soon. Two things we need you to do before we get out of here. There are some signed in sheets that are floating around. If you're serious and you're ready to go to Valdosta, we're not talking in the next five or six weeks, we're talking real soon. We just want to make sure that Valdosta understand that freedom don't have any boundaries. That justice don't have any boundaries. We're coming by bus and car, walking and carpooling and hitchhiking. They don't stand alone. January 11th is the day. We'll have buses leaving from this city. All over. Valdosta is a little small town. But it holds some big keys to the solution to this issue. And we want this family to feel the love that emanates from us. You can hear and feel their pain. Uh, they're not going to stand by themselves. And some of us are seriously committed to this. Yes, sir. Are you seriously committed to standing with this family? All right, time for talking is over. Amen. I saw Reverend Motley. Is Reverend Motley still standing out there? If he, if he is, if he make his way. If not, I saw his hat. We're going to close out in the same manner that we came. I want you to grip the hand of the person standing next to you. And I want you to hold it very intentionally. Because you're holding the hands of God's great gift. The reason our hearts are heavy is because only God can give life. And he should be the only one that could take it. And we know without a shadow of a doubt that this wasn't about no tennis shoe. How many of y'all know that? Amen. Yeah. We wanted to believe that lie. Go ahead. But we know that it went true. Our spirit wouldn't even let us believe that lie. And so we come now intentionally locked together, black and white, young and young at heart, student and those who never saw the inside of a school, believing that God will give us the answers. Yes, Lord. But we also know that God worked through men and women. And so with every heart connected, come on, Reverend Warnock. Before I start praying, and I'll pray a two-hour prayer because I want God to answer in here. But I want you to know I've lived long enough to know that the fervent prayers of the righteous is well as much. They didn't want us to know what we already know. They just wanted us to believe this was a tennis shoe case. Fingernails missing, organs missing. Everything missing, truth missing. Yeah. But God said that He is the reveal of all secrets. Yeah. And that which with Him will be revealed. And I don't know about you, I'm going to go with God. Because He's a doctor that never lost a patient, He's a lawyer that never lost a case. And even in this thing, <laughs> he's going to make the cricket places straight. And now to end us in the posture of prayer, we pray according to our various faith tradition. I want you to know we are a coalition of Muslims and Christians and Jews and agnostic and non-believers. There's room at the table of justice to walk for KJ and his family. To close us out with prayer, let's welcome again Reverend Raphael Warnock, the senior pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church. All right, All right. Thank you. Come on, Mama, Dad, stand right here. I just want you over here to say a big prayer. Reach out and join hands, touch somebody, hold somebody's hand. Gracious God, you are known by many names, <clears throat> worshipped in many houses. Yes. But you are the God of justice. And so we call now on your name. 
We lift up prayers for our brother Kenneth and our sister Jackie. No pain is worse than when nature is reversed. And rather than the child burying the parent, the parent has to bury the child. And so we ask now that you would open the crystal fountain and allow your healing waters to flow. We pray, oh God, that you would look with mercy upon a grieving mother and a grieving father. Mary stood at the foot of the cross. Yes. As her son suffered and died, we pray for this mother. We pray for this father. As they stand on the threshold of tragedy, and grant, O oh God, that our theology will not be so glib and superficial that we will find ourselves coming up with easy answers saying, this is the will of God. No, this is not the will of God. Teach. Your will is never demonstrated in tragedy. Your will is demonstrated in how we respond to tragedy. And so, God, we pray that you would take a bad situation and that you would lift it up to a higher purpose. Help us to find our purpose, to find our voice in the struggle for justice. We remember KJ, a young man with hopes and dreams, a young man who laughed and who cried, a young man with a bright future. We remember KJ. His blood cries out like Abel's blood from the grave. And as we remember him, help us to pay appropriate tribute to him by defending all of our children, by standing up for the rule of law, for equal protection under the law, so that all of our children might be saved. And together we might build the beloved community in the name of the God who loves us into freedom and frees us into loving. We offer this prayer. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, if you're holding a sign-in sheet, please hold it up so we'll know to collect them as well as sign in. We want to make sure we give you information about the 11th and keep you informed and updated about future rallies and future actions. Thank you. Anytime, my man, anytime. You got to go. Uh, All right. Man, you know, you know, you might talk to somebody else, but you know I'm good. There you go. Yeah, that, that's the way it's gotta be. That's the way it's gotta be.